Hi, I'm Aiden Dispenza, Cloud Systems Developer at CloudReach. And I'm joined by Avni Patel, Cloud Software Engineer at CloudReach. Today we're just going to talk a little bit about the Cloud Software Engineer role. So as a Cloud Systems Developer, I'm usually working on the networking or the higher level design. So how would you say a Cloud Software Engineer differs from a Cloud Systems Developer? A Cloud Systems Developer focuses on actually building out the infrastructure on AWS or GCP or Azure. And then we focus more on modernizing applications, breaking them down into smaller applications, and then also using the infrastructure resources to create full-out applications. So as someone coming from a more traditional software engineering background, what would you say the main differences between a cloud software engineer and a more traditional software engineer are? A traditional software engineer is focused on a singular application or feature, whereas a cloud software engineer at CloudReach would be working on multiple applications or features or languages depending on their project, and they're also using cloud native technologies to build their applications. So working with all these clients, how would you say a cloud software engineer really contributes to the overall success of CloudReach? cloud software engineer focuses really on getting the actual applications on the cloud so we actually help clients be able to be up and running on the cloud. So what would you say some of the key responsibilities of a cloud software engineer are? A cloud software engineer's responsibilities differ based on the project. So you could be working on Lambda functions, um, cloud functions, Azure functions, or you could be working on microservices, containerizing applications. It really depends on what the client wants, but at the end of the day, you're writing application code. What would you say are some key skills a cloud software engineer should have to succeed at CloudReach? We do want people who have traditional software skills, but having a client-focused skill set is great, and then being cloud-native is also a great skill to have. So definitely having those traditional software skills will help you succeed, knowing languages like Java and Python, also ha having cloud-native skills, knowing about AWS or GCP or Azure, and then obviously having a client-focused background is a great skill to have. And while you're on a client site, who are some of the key people that you're interacting with? Uh, CSE uh, works with a lot of CSDs like yourself. We also work with cloud architects. We work with cloud engagement managers. And then from the client side, we could be working with the infrastructure team as well as the actual application teams or an SRE team. Thanks, Avni. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you're interested in the cloud software engineering role, make sure to check out our career page for more information.